What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here to do a review on the Sideshow exclusive 1-6 scale Darth Vader which I just got about, I think, two days ago? Maybe yesterday? Doesn't matter. But uh, I did an unboxing video if you guys checked it out. If, uh, if you do want to see the box and what it looks like in the tray, I do suggest checking out that video. Uh, but I think the main event here is really the figure itself which we see right here in front of us. What I'm going to do is pan down a little bit for you guys here. So you can really get a feel for how awesome this figure is. And it does have a nice display stand here, right, which does light up. It has an LED feature. Unfortunately, mine seems to have a little piece of plastic rumbling around inside. And the light switch is a little bit loose. So we'll see if we can get that taken care of. But here is a figure, just magnificent. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, display area that I have right now is uh, a tad small for a figure... Uh, that's so big. Just spin them around so you can really get a look at how awesome this thing is and the way everything just gleams and shines. And I love the fact that they did the uh, gunmetal gray pieces on the uh, mask uh, instead of all black. They've done it correctly here. Now as I was just showing you guys this, I noticed this little peg thing here is missing from this side and at first I thought that was like a screen accurate thing. Uh, but it's not according to this figure it's actually right here I ended up looking in the box and I found it so I'll be putting that on in just a moment but uh, let's continue on to look at the figure now the figure has excellent cloth here guys look the way this just flows it really has a nice scale feel to it instead of being really thick everything that's supposed to be glossy is nice and glossy correct colors uh, you'll see the cape carries on into here an inner cape sort of you'll see the textures are very nice and leathery unfortunately that's as far back as I, I can pan and even the uh, gloves are really uh, they have like a nice leathery feel too and the sculpting is just excellent and one of the crazy things I love about this is the uh, LED effects for his breathing apparatus thing so let's go ahead and check that out let me just uh, find the switch back here and the switch is just located on his belt in the back hidden nicely. Right, I don't know if you guys can see that the uh, belt has lit up here. Let me see if I can shut off the other lights. All right, so you'll see you got the two LEDs here. You also have these three little LEDs. The middle one stays on, the other two just alternate between uh, the top and the bottom. And as we move along, let me show you a little bit more of this figure here. Um, I was just showing you all the glossy bits up here and all the bits that are, are supposed to look a little, little bit leathery there. Uh, carries along into the pants. The pants have a nice leather look and feel to them. You get the gloss shin guards here as well as the boots back here, the leather boots. And we'll see the rest of him here. Here you can see the little uh, battery compartment for the with the switch for the LEDs. And I was telling you guys about the correctly colored helmet. You'll see the the gray areas here also the bottom of the helmet is gray and normally when you do get uh, Darth Vader uh, figures like toy wise uh, it's he's usually all completely black and you notice even the chain here is correctly done it's not an actual chain it's just like a little die cut strip here that looks like a chain they've done that correctly and again just to show you how the cloth is on this figure look how nice and flowing it is it really does have a scale look to it I really love the uh, cloth that was used on this figure. Now uh, the standard hands that he comes with are these, all right, the clenched fists all right, on both sides, but he does have alternate hands which I'm going to show you in just a moment. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, all the different alternate hands he does come with. They're all gloved hands obviously. Uh, he's got this one right here which is kind of like that um, you know the force kind of hand. Then he's got this uh, pointing hand and, and look at the sculpt the way they do it. You can obviously tell in real life these gloves were thick and really not allow a lot of movement uh, the way they look and they really captured that in the sculpt here and, and it's really soft so it really gives it the feel of, of a real glove. And then he's got this one for the lightsaber I believe right there it's that one. Uh, he's got a more relaxed type of hand right here almost looks like he'd be sitting down in a throne with his hand over the uh, side of the seat there um, you got this one too right here, sort of relaxed also. You have, uh, this one looks like a 
lightsaber holding hand another hand that could be some type of uh, using the force type of hand and uh, he's got the ever popular choking hand here which I'll probably display it with uh, the sculpt also really really nice on that and he's also got the uh, the one where his hand gets chopped off so you'll see all the wiring that's inside uh, really a good amount of detail I um, wonder how close I can really get to show you guys the camera does not like focusing very much at times there you are so very good details in that uh, it doesn't really attach it's really just meant to have it just I guess lying on the floor next to the figure while this uh, is on him all right but for now I'm going to leave uh, the hands the way they are although let's see we can actually take a look at uh, I guess we'll do this we'll check out the Anakin head right here all right so there you are let's get in a little closer there so you can see all the details and all the breathing parts of his helmet and uh, this isn't exactly what I consider like uh, Hot Toys kind of uh, everything except the sculpt I would say is pretty close to something I would probably find in Hot Toys just there's something that's just not quite full-blown Hot Toys as is the case with a lot of the um, sideshow stuff that I've seen lately uh, although this is really the only sideshow figure I have with a sculpt um, but overall very nice the eyes are shiny uh, very good detail on the head also good detail on the helmet really impressed with the details on the uh, rest of the helmet piece here now here I've gone ahead and attached uh, the non-helmeted head onto the body itself so you can get a look at that let's just pan back just a tad so we can get a feel of the overall figure again not a lot of uh, review area here at the, at the moment so I can't really pan out too far but at least you get the idea of what that looks like with that and while removing the uh, regular helmeted head, I did notice that it is detailed with the head in here. Obviously, this is not going to come off, but it's detailed. You'll see the uh, wrinkly head right back there. I love the way that they did this. So it's actually very accurate. Um, very, very cool. Another cool detail is this uh, little hook that comes right out of the chest on top to hold the uh, chain piece here. I thought that was really cool because at first I didn't realize it, and then the chain was always rubbing up against in here the cape falling back but uh, luckily that's there to hold it and now it looks really good uh, let's see the other bit I wanted to show you here is the uh, alternate helmet set here All right this uh, is just meant to replicate just the what the actual helmet looks like taken apart which you can't do with the regular helmet but here you, ha you have the cover up top All right, and then you have the inner part that covers his face What's cool about this is that it's actually uh, very well detailed. If I could just get a lamp right here, right, you'll see the details right inside. Uh, the details are very, very well done. It's detailed all within. You'll see that. And um, as another reviewer did, kind of slid this over the head, but uh, since the edges are really sharp, I don't want to damage the uh, paint on the uh, head there so I'm not going to be putting it on because it's not really meant to be put on the actual figure this is meant to put on the display what's cool about the display check this out we're gonna put this on right here let's get that lined up properly and uh, put the top piece here this actually has a light up feature if we grab this switch right back here you'll see the red comes down Tell me that's not cool guys, look at that, the way that shines. Imagine just having this in a really, really dark room, just having that light up. Uh, yeah, so uh, speaking of uh, LED features, the regular base has an LED feature. We'll take a look at that now. Let's just pan down here. If we turn it around here, where is it? Right here, there's a switch. It's kind of hard to see with the way my lighting setup is. There we go little switch here you'll see my switch kinda hard to tell but it's it's really loose and I'm kind of afraid it's just gonna fall right in there And there's actually a little plastic bit that's rolling around in there and it actually looks like the tip of an LED so uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get an exchange for that but we'll check out the LED feature we're gonna turn this on and again this is kinda loose there we go got it to work if we turn it around you'll see the Empire logo right down there let's shut this light off a bit 
give it that full effect. Look at that, guys. That thing is just pure evil. And I'm going to turn on the light on his belt, too. Get the, the LEDs going on him. And then pan up so you can see it. Check this out. All right? Look at that. That's pure dark evil right there. Now, next thing I want to show you guys is the uh, lightsaber. So here is his lightsaber. Again, very well detailed. It's all plastic. Uh, if you look here, there's actually a peg, uh, which according to uh, some other people, isn't supposed to be there. This a peg is actually there because they would put the lightsaber piece that they would use uh, in the film to create the effect. So this was actually a peg that they would peg the actual uh, lightsaber prop piece on there, which uh, is pretty cool. It's uh, accurate, I guess, to what it's supposed to be. And there's a little hook over here somewhere. You just hook it on. It's a little hard to do with one hand. Let's try and get that. All right, so there it is. You can hook it onto the side. And then, of course, we have the fully extended lightsaber, all right? So to use that, you're going to want to have to grab one of these uh, lightsaber holding hands. So we'll go ahead and do that and uh, attach it to the figure and show you what that looks like. And there you are, folks. There is Darth Vader with his lightsaber. Unfortunately, and I don't see any way they could have done it unless the LED feature was worked into the hand or there's some new technology that allows batteries to be micro small. There is no LED feature. Would have been nice for the LED feature to be implemented into this uh, because in the uh, promotional shots of this figure there were some lighting effects and it kind of gave us the impression that there would be an LED but there is not. Um, but still it looks cool nonetheless. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of customizers that will work a way to have an LED feature on it. But for me I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now the thing with this figure is you really do have to get up close to really, really, really appreciate the... Uh, the work that went into this, especially the different colors, the shade of colors, the dark grays, the blacks, uh, the different uh, textures, different um, finishes, gloss, matte, what have you, and uh, of course the detail here on, on his little apparatus thing. You'll see, you can kind of see a couple of wires peeking out over the belts here. You'll see it's actually a separate piece. You'll see the belts running right underneath the shoulder piece here. And as we move down, you can also see the details here on these uh, side belt boxes, or what I don't even know what they're called. And then the crotch cover here uh, is also separate. Uh, it's like a little belt going around. And of course, the fabrics. Look at the way that's sewn on there. Really nice. I can't say enough about the fabrics. They're just really light. Uh, they're not thin to the point where they're going to rip easily. They're just really, look at that, just really, really soft. You also really have to appreciate the details that were put into the wrinkles of the boots. As we all know, anytime we bend here at the toes, the, uh, boots do wrinkle when they're made out of leather. And uh, they, they just captured that really, really well here. Now, uh, don't really have other 1-6 scale figures here uh, in my apartment to uh, scale this with, otherwise I would show you. But I figured I'd scale it up to a 3 and 3 quarter version of him. This is the Black Series Darth Vader. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that right by his feet. Just barely, barely gets to his knees. I do have my daughter's Darth Vader here. Whoops, his helmet came off. Alright, this is my daughter's Darth Vader here with the sound feature activated. Uh, let's pan up here. $15 figure compared to a $250 figure. Uh, this one, however, does have LED lightsaber. There you go. Look at that. But, uh, yeah. And here he is uh, with an accurately scaled C-3PO. This is the uh, Tamashi uh, Bandai Chogokin uh, C-3PO, which is loaded, loaded with die cast. So that's how he compares with that. And uh, I guess that's going to wrap it up, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until next time, bye-bye.